Flutus. This first video, we're going to address some very basic musical terminology. The terms we're going to cover are things that you'll become very familiar with as you progress in your musical journey. Now, some of you may already know these things. You've probably already learned it in elementary music or your band director may have already taught it to you, but we're gonna go over them anyway, just to ensure that we're all on the same page. There are six terms we're going to go over today. I drew them out on a whiteboard so that we can go over each one of them. All of these terms you'll see on any piece of sheet music that you may look at. The first thing we're going to learn is the staff. The staff consists of five lines and four spaces. We read the staff from left to right. Next we have the clef. The clef is the first thing you'll see on every line on a piece of sheet music. Flutes read in treble clef. Every line and space has its own designated letter name, which we'll learn in a future video. The treble clef also goes by the name G clef. Next, we have the key signature or key sign. The key sign tells us what notes we're gonna play. Next, we have the time signature. The time signature comes after the key sign. The time signature tells us how many beats are in a measure and which note gets the beat. Right here, we have a common 4-4 time signature. Other time signatures we're gonna learn are 3-4 and 2-4. Next, we have the bar line. The bar line separates each measure from one another. And lastly, we have the double bar line. The double bar line separates two or more sections of a piece of music, or if the second bar line is bold, that means that that is the end of a movement or piece. I hope I was able to explain everything in a way all of you can understand it, and I hope that it was helpful even if you had already learned it before. Bye!